Hey there Dev Squad, today we're going to be taking a look at the power of Lumen inside of Unreal Engine 5. We're going to be starting off by showing you how to enable and use Lumen for the very first time. We're then going to be moving on to showing you how Lumen can dynamically light your scene using materials as the light source. In addition to that, we're also going to be showing you how you can use Lumen to get light indirectly into hard to reach areas. And we're going to be doing this by bouncing light off of our walls and our surfaces from a light source. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this 10 minute Tuesday. Okay, so now that we're inside of Unreal Engine, what we're going to do is show you how you can enable Lumen in your project settings so that we can actually utilize it in the worlds that we're building. To do this, we're going to go up to edit in the top left hand corner here, and then we're going to go to our project settings. In here, we are going to be able to change all of the settings that are related to our project. And that's everything from the rendering settings all the way up to the packaging and the input settings. The ones that we're interested in are all directly linked to our rendering. We are going to go ahead and move over to the search details tab over here, and we're going to simply search for our Lumen and we should have three options here. The first one is our global illumination. We're going to make sure that our dynamic global illumination method is set to Lumen. We're then going to make sure that our reflection method is also set to Lumen. And then lastly, when it comes to Lumen over here, you just want to make sure that your software ray tracing mode is set to global tracing as well. Another setting that you're going to need is your generate mesh fields. And with this, just go ahead and make sure that this is set to true. Again, if you want to find any of these settings, you can simply just search for it in the top using this. Once you have made those changes and you go ahead and press apply, it is going to ask you whether or not you want to restart the Unreal Engine editor. And with that, if you don't restart the Unreal Engine editor, it is not going to apply those changes. So restart the engine and let's get into our very first Unreal Engine Lumen demo. So what I've got here is this beautiful underground subway that I downloaded from the Unreal Engine marketplace. What we're going to do is show you how to enable Lumen inside of this project. And it's really straightforward. Once we've done that, we can get into showing you exactly what Lumen can do and how you can use it. To apply Lumen into a project or a scene, this is all going to be done inside of your post-processing volume. So go ahead and select your post-processing volume. I can then change the details for this. If you haven't got a post-processing volume already, go ahead and go to create, add a volume of the type post-processing volume. Simple as that. But because I've got one already, I'm simply going to delete this and select my existing post-processing volume. In here, we are going to enable our Lumen settings. So what we're going to do is in the search details panel over here, we are simply going to go in here and search for our Lumen settings. And we're going to have a couple of options. The ones that we're interested in here are our global illumination. So we're going to enable this and set our method to Lumen. We're then going to set our final gather quality to one for our Lumen global illumination. And we're then going to enable Lumen reflections as well and set up the quality for that. And once we've done this, we are good to go to use Lumen inside of our scene. So first of all, you're probably not going to notice that many changes in a scene like this that's really well lit. So what I'm going to do is create a very simple material and a very simple sphere to show you what Lumen is capable of. And I'd like you to follow along with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my content draw and I'm simply going to right click and create myself a brand new material. And I'm going to give this the name Emissive. I'm then going to double click on this to open it up. Inside of here, I'm going to add a constant free vector and hook this up straight into the emissive. With this, what I'm then going to do is set the emissive value to 10 on the red, one on the green, one on the blue, and press apply. We've now got our emissive material. With that done, I'm then going to go ahead and create myself a simple sphere shape. And with this, I'm going to drag it into my scene. In my content browser, 
I'm then going to take my emissive material and apply it to this sphere. And straight away, you are going to be able to see exactly what Lumen is capable of doing. This emissive material is now actually acting as a light source within your scene. And not only that, it is a dynamic light source. So I could take this and I could move it backwards or forwards and left and right and dynamically it is going to be lighting up this scene. And with that, you can start to see that your emissives and your props and your materials is going to start to light your scene for you. It's going to really help you so you don't have to focus and spend as much time on the lighting. So with that being said, let's go back into this material, open it up and set the value to something a little bit stronger, like my, setting, my red value being 25 or even 50. And then I press apply. If I then apply those changes there, look at it in my scene, we can see that my scene here is going to be much, much brighter because this is the light source. And as just like that, we can see that we can use these to light up our scene. I'm going to set this back to 10. What I'm then going to do from here is take a look at just how efficient this is. So I'm actually going to make a couple of these spheres and I'm going to bring them into the scene. And not only can I have three of these, I can have six, I can have nine, I can have as many as I like. And in terms of the performance cost of this, it is very, very minimal. So Lumen is a tool that you can use very quickly to start bringing your scenes to life. Examples of that could be things like this light that I've got over here. Instead of manually adding in a point light to brighten up this area, instead, this is going to be using Lumen to light up your scene for you. So that concludes this demo. Let's go ahead and move on to the architecture demo as we take a look at indirect light bouncing. In this next demo, we're going to be showing you how you can take a light source and get it to bounce light throughout your scene to help brighten it up without the use of skylights and supplementary lights. To do this, we're going to take a look at this scene. If I go ahead and press my G key here, we can see that we've got the table and the chairs here that are currently in the shadows. And quite frankly, it doesn't look quite nice. So what we can do is we can actually take the light source, which is shining the light here through this open wall, and we can get it to bounce light into these areas that which are currently uh, very dimly lit. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and select my light source. I'm then going to go into my light settings. From here, what I'm going to do is adjust the value for indirect lighting. And notice as I turn that up, those shadows are going to get a lot softer because we've got indirect lighting bouncing off the wall here and into these shadowed areas. If I turn this down and then up again, you can really start to see the power of Lumen in this demo. That's it for this video. By now you should have a good understanding of how you can use Lumen inside of Unreal Engine to start to bring your scenes to life. Make sure you stay tuned for our brand new Unreal Engine 5 course as we're going to be getting to grasp with all of Unreal Engine 5's brand new features such as Nanite and Lumen and more. Speaking of features, what is your favourite feature of Unreal Engine 5? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you'd like to share your work, be sure to join our Discord to meet other developers just like yourself or even just get a helping hand. Also, don't forget if you want to support more videos just like this, you can check out our Patreon, the link for which is in the description. But that's it for this video guys, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus signing out.